Hello everybody. I am Dr. Lipsa Mishra. I am a gynecologist and an infertility specialist. Today we are going to know about a very common disorder nowadays which we frequently find among women of reproductive age group called endometriosis. Yes, I'm sure it must be not a very uncommon disease you must which you have heard. Almost one out of every four females nowadays that we see in our outdoor for infertility evaluation comes out to be that of endometriosis. So what is this endometriosis? Now endometriosis is a disease where the lining of the uterus called endometrium is found at places other than the uterus itself. Now this lining with every uh, periods or every menses it sheds from the uterine cavity but at the locations other than the uterine cavity the bleeding which occurs cyclically here too gets accumulated and this accumulation of bleeding it causes several diseases several symptoms now when this lining is present inside the uterine muscles it is called adenomyosis which gives rise to severe pain during your cycles now if this lining is present inside the ovaries with accumulation of bleeding in every cycle it forms a cyst called as a chocolate cyst when this lining is present inside the abdomen now here with again with subsequent cycles the bleeding occurs it gets collected and it forms a glue like substance which can adhere each and every structure present inside the abdomen like the intestines the uterus the tubes the ovaries even the bladder now such an adherence gives rise to many symptoms like a abdominal discomfort which might start with the menses but may continue and form a chronic pain which might be persisting throughout the month this pain can be very crippling while on one side there might be a crippling pain on the other hand there might be no symptoms at all but during an infertility evaluation this comes into picture now as i said one in every four females nowadays is suffering from this disease if i talk about infertility population around more than 30 to 40% of the infertile couples do experience this problem now what are uh, how does it affect fertility now in a female as i said there are different locations where this lining may be found found the endometrium in the ovaries if with subsequent cycles the chocolate cyst which they form is large enough if i say a number more than 5 cm then it hampers the normal ovarian function with a pressure effect the normal eggs which a female needs to form embryos or to have a pregnancy they get damaged if this lining is present inside the uterine musculature which is called adenomyosis it affects the quality of the endometrium where the embryo should implant then when this lining is present inside the tubes it may form tubal blockage as you know a very common uh, condition which gives rise to infertility the tubes if hampered with endometriosis and uh, when it adheres to different structures inside the abdomen the path through which the egg and the sperm meet gets disrupted again it lands up with infertility if the lining is present inside the uterus as i said it's a glue like substance is formed where all the tissues get adhered together this a state of inflammation arises hampering the egg quality the embryo quality as well as the environment of the uterus it, it turns hostile for an embryo so all these conditions are usually uh, uh, these affect the fertility of a female now when we evaluate a infer- an infer- infertile couple and we come across infer- endometriosis there are different stages of this disease it's we can term it as stage 1 2 3 4 where stage 1 and 2 is mild to moderate 3 and 4 is relatively severe if we only find as endometriosis being the culprit for infertility such cases do need treatment though asymptomatic endometriosis uh, patients can conceive naturally they go unnoticed they might be discovered during a c section but the people who are having such a problem 
they need some kind of assistance if there is Uh, a cyst, an ovarian chocolate cyst, which is large enough, say more than five centimeter, they usually undergo a laparoscopic surgery where the cysts are removed, and then it might aid their natural conception. Now, if the cysts are not large enough, but the all the structures inside the abdomen are adherent or glued together, then again a laparoscopic surgery is advised. where the tissues are separated from each other and the anatomical restoration is maintained is gone back now this also aids in natural conception but you see endometriosis is a progressive condition with each successive menstrual cycles all the pre surgery picture comes back so it is very important to know that post your surgery the next 6 to 1 months is a golden period for conception if there are no other factors like no male factor abnormality or not any other the age is not a issue then we can definitely wait for another 6 to 1 months but if the there is a problem in the egg if there's a problem in the sperm then definitely we need to move ahead and take some assistance from the reproductive for them several reproductive techniques available usually uh, the most common uh, treatment uh, uh, protocol which is used for a uh, good reproductive age group uh, female like less than 35 years with no other abnormalities then we can just advise post surgery or if the disease is mild without a surgery we can go for ovulation induction where we monitor the uh, growth of the eggs and then at the time of rupture we can have a timed uh, planning of pregnancy but if this doesn't work out the next step is usually an iui iui is a uh, call when uh, we observe uh, an egg to be ruptured through an ultrasound and then we put in washed sperms into the uterus now usually the average success of such a treatment varies between 10 to 20% per cycle per menstrual cycle so yes if the disease is not severe enough you can go for this treatment which can take about 3 to 6 months you can wait but again if this kind of treatment is not helping you out to conceive or if the disease is of the stage 3 or 4 which is a severe uh, endometriosis then the assisted reproductive techniques like IVF come into picture now here in IVF we first evaluate the uterus we see the endometrial condition we see the uterus condition then we observe the ovaries the eggs the number of follicles have to be average for that age group a hormone called amh is done where that has to be between 2 4 2 4 2 to think of a good prognosis when all these are good then definitely and all the previous empirical or the uh, ovulation induction protocol the iui protocol has failed ivf has a very good role to play here we expect an average success rate of more than 50 to 60 percent in a young age female less than 35 years but if in ivf we find the follicles are less in number while planning for ivf here we need to study the eggs when we remove the eggs we see the quality of eggs we select the matured eggs or the good quality oocytes we fertilize with them a good healthy sperm by a conventional method or by a process called icsi icsi and we form embryos now we know that endometriosis does affect the embryo quality but if the egg and sperm are of good quality the age is the most important factor there with good quality embryos in a less than 38 age group we usually get a success rate which is comparable to more than 60 to 70% now usually we see in a daily uh, opd that post laparoscopic surgery many uh, individuals take uh, injections they are prescribed injections to suppress the menstruation now this is uh, okay if there are symptomatic they are having severe pain but if the only complaint is fertility uh, uh, problems then menstruation should not be stopped rather the process of attaining a conception should be geared up so yes post surgery we should not be stopping the menstruation just for fertility enhancement rather if there are no symptoms like pain we should immediately go for a planned pregnancy now friends i hope this uh, uh, 
small video helps you out because we are commonly finding several couples several females who have this endometriosis and uh, they have they are uh, confused or they are not uh, aware of the various fertility treatments available IVF nowadays provides a very good results uh, it has become the first line of management in severe degree of endometriosis and the second line uh, management in mild to moderate when all the routine uh, ovulation induction or IUI treatment has failed so yes we are there to help you in a case of doubt you are free to call we are just a phone call away thank you